Hello. In the following set of videos, we are going to learn how to program using Python. Now, in this video, we're going to get Python all set up, ready to go. Um, but my plan is to continue to add to this playlist, going through the fundamentals of programming using Python as the language. It's really important to understand that there's no best language. There's, there's the best language for the situation, perhaps. But what's really important to know is that what we're learning here is applicable to a number of programming languages. And so by all means, go out and try a number of different types. It's an important thing to do as a young programmer. So let's dive in. Now, we're going to have to install two things on our computer. The first one we must install, and the second one is optional. So the first thing we're going to install is Python itself. Now when I talk about Python, what we're downloading is the instructions that allow the computer to take um, some information we've written as text, which is in English, and then convert it into something the computer can understand. We'll call it machine code. So if you Google search download Python, you should get to this page. And there are two versions of Python. There's Python 3 and Python 2. We're going to work in Python 2. Python 2 is, is a legacy language, it's no longer being developed, but a lot of stuff out there is, is still running Python 2. It's a great language to, to start with because there's a lot of wonderful documentation and there's a lot of add-ons that you can use. Python 3 is, is, a, is a new version of Python which has been designed kind of looking forward, hopefully going, making things easier for some future applications of it. I'm by no means an expert in this. Um, it's really great to take a moment and maybe read what the differences. So we're going to download this file. So you're just going to select that and it will download. Once it's done downloading, you're going to install it. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it in this video. The next thing you want to access is you want to access um, PyCharm. PyCharm is the IDE that we're going to use. So what an IDE is, is an Integrated Development Environment. Think of an IDE as, as the Microsoft Word for programmers. So you can write an essay anywhere. You can write an essay on a piece of paper, you can write it on a napkin. Why do we use Microsoft Word? Well, we use Microsoft Word because it has a number of tools to make writing essays easier. It has spell check, grammar check, a whole bunch of things. That's what an IDE is, or an Integrated Development Environment, for a program. So PyCharm is one of many, but what it means is that when I'm running my program, it's going to try and help me. It's going to have a number of different features to make programming easier. What's important to understand is that I could write a program, a Python program, or any program inside Notepad. As long as I have Python to translate it, that's okay. But by using PyCharm, it's going to make it a lot easier for us. So we're going to download that and install it. Now, if you're a student or an educator, you can do a third thing which is really useful. PyCharm is developed by a company called JetBrains. And if you Google search JetBrains student license, you get this free for students and you can apply now and then you can register yourself as a student or educator and you'll get a, a number of the products for free. If you're in a high school, I think official document is the way you want to go. You can type in the information and if you have a student card, just take a photo of your student card and upload it. So once PyCharm is installed right now, we're just going to use the evaluation version. But if you register, you get an email and then you can, you can use it for longer than 30 days. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to open up PyCharm and get us started. Okay, so you're probably going to get a, just a slightly different window than I have, because if it's your first time opening, it's going to kind of give you this introduction window. You're going to select evaluation, and then you're going to select a, a button in the middle that says start new project. You should end up here. So you, as you can see right away, there's tons of stuff you can do with this. We're going to select pure Python, and we have these two fields. You both should have something in them. 
we're going to go to location and I'm going to change the name of my folder and don't mind anything I have in the background that's I've been playing around with this prior to the video and I'm going to make my folder called learning Python so this is the folder on my computer where it's going to store all my Python programs your interpreter should say 2.7.11 if that isn't there what you can do is you can select the wheel you can hit add local and then you can navigate to wherever python.exe is stored on the computer. It should be in the same location if you haven't changed anything. Once you have all that set up, you're just going to hit create. I'm going to open mine in a new window. And here we go. So, here's our folder. This is where we're going to keep all our Python programs. So the first thing you're going to do is I'm going to right click, and I'm going to hit new, and I'm going to make a new Python file. And when I select this, I'm going to get this little window here, and I'm going to call my first file Hello World. Now, if you've never programmed before, you kind of have to call your program Hello World. Please note there's no space, and it's a good habit to capitalize subsequent words. There's a reason for that. We're not going to get into it now. But it's a good habit to start. We select OK, and then I get I should get a Hello World tab. And this space in here is where I'm going to put my program. Now you see up here, there's, there's an arrow, but it hasn't lit up. I can't do anything yet because I haven't actually saved the file officially. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to print my, I'm going to write my first program. And in Python, to print sign out, all you write is the word print. And you can see it's trying to help me. It's, as soon as I start typing the word print, it's, it's starting to guess what I have to, what I want to do. And I'm going to put quotations and I'm going to write the word hello world. Anything inside the quotations gets printed to the console. Notice how that arrow is in green yet? The first time I run this, I have to right click and I'm going to say run hello world, which is going to save it, compile it, and then execute it. Hello world. This is the console. So right now, everything we do is going to happen in this little text screen down here. And now, if I wanted to, I could say print say let's get programming and now I can just click this arrow hello world let's get programming and you can add as many different lines as you want in here now the last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to make a comment a comment is is something you add to a program that has nothing to do with how the program runs it's simply for the person reading the code so they can help either understand what's happening or, as a student, it's a great way to write notes. So, the comment is written using a hashtag, and anything after this hashtag on the same line is going to be ignored by the program. So, we're going to say, this is my first program that shows how to print something to the console. I hope that helped. In our next video, we're going to look at how to take inputs.